Today, I am going to solve a problem on intramolecular cyclopropanation of metal carbonides followed by allylic oxidation using selenium dioxide. Here is the problem. When this diazo compound is treated with copper iodide followed by selenium dioxide, what is the major product? The given options are here. All the four, they are cyclopropane product. You can see here, this has undergone cyclopropanation with this double bond. This double bond is unaffected. This double bond also is unaffected. So, this undergoes cyclopropanation. But, what about the stereochemistry of these groups? That hydrogens and the methyl. What is the stereochemistry? When we add selenium dioxide, this double bond undergoes allylic oxidation. Since it is not symmetrical alkene, the oxidation may take place here or here. Both options has been given. Which one is correct? In order to solve this, first you should know cyclopropanation stereochemistry. Cyclopropanation reaction, it is not important for this particular problem because all the products is a cyclopropane. But what about the stereochemistry? During cyclopropanation, stereochemistry is retained. The second concept, oxidation of allylic position using selenium dioxide. So if you know this, you can easily solve the problem. First one, cyclopropanation and its stereochemistry. The most common method to obtain cyclopropane is the reaction of alkene with carbene. Carbene reacts with alkene to give cyclopropane. In our problem, it is not carbene. It is metal carbonyl. That is, the diazo compound so say like this this diazo compounds reacts with copper iodide to give metal carbonyl. This metal carbonyl can react similar to carbene even though we don't write like this this can react similar to carbene it can undergo cyclopropanation now, let us go to the first step that is treatment of this diazo compound with copper iodide you may know that diazo compound it is the precursor for carbene when this diazo compound is treated with metals Generally, copper and rhodium salts are used. Rhodium tetraacetate and copper triflate or copper iodide, they are used generally. When it is treated with these metals, it gives the corresponding metal carbonoid. This metal carbonoid can undergo cyclopropanation with alkene. So the product, whatever we get, will be like this. So now, we need to predict the stereochemistry of this methyl and hydrogen. Methyl and the side chain and the two hydrogens, what is the stereochemistry? You may know that you cannot 
connect a three member ring and a six member ring by trans stereochemistry that means at the fused junction the stereochemistry should be always cis the trans stereochemistry is not not at all possible if the ring system is bigger 6 and 8 then it is possible if it is lower three membered or four membered ring it is not at all possible if there is a five member then the possibility is somewhat more if it is six member it is fascinating but in three member it is not at all possible based on that we can eliminate one option from this in first three the stereochemistry they are cis you can see here all the hydrogens at the fused junction it is cis but in the fourth one it is trans that is not possible so this option is not possible what about the stereochemistry of this methyl and this chain already i have explained that during the cyclopropanation the stereochemistry is retained that is if this ch3 and hydrogen if they are trans the product also they should be trans it cannot be cis so i compare that two hydrogens so that is this hydrogen and this methyl group they should be trans in the given product you can see here they are trans here also they are trans but in the second one they are cis so this option is not possible now we have to go for only first and third option the second step it is allylic oxidation with selenium dioxide i go for this cyclohexene which is symmetrical but in the given problem it is not symmetrical molecule this double bond attacks here to give like this there will be positive charge that is neutralized by this so what we get is now this attacks here what we get is again double bond here the allylic position there is when this is hydrolyzed we get allylic alcohol now the problem is which in non symmetrical molecule what will be the addition of this double bond to selenium dioxide i take only this part of the given compound to this i add selenium oxide then there are two possibilities this carbon may add to the selenium dioxide or this carbon as a result what i get is intermediate like this or like this which one is more favor this undergoes morganic of addition that is the carbon which has more hydrogen adds to selenium dioxide you can see here the carbon which has more hydrogen so it has one hydrogen but there is no hydrogen at all here so that adds to 
selenium dioxide the reason is the product form afterwards it is tertiary carbocation but here it is secondary based on steric hindrance also i can explain if this carbon attacks selenium dioxide that is this one the steric hindrance will be huge so to avoid that this carbon attacks the selenium dioxide now let us try the mechanism on the compound this is most preferred than the other one if you observe here they have taken symmetrical so this methyl and here also methyl because if it is ethyl then it may form double bond here as well as here again there will be problem in selectivity that's why they generally go for dimethyl takes a proton to give this one then this attacks here so what we get is when it is hydrolyzed we get this alcohol the given options you can see here the first one oxidation has occurred the methyl so this is the, the answer third one the allylic oxidation has occurred at the internal carbon so this is wrong answer is 1